Hey everyone, how's it going? This afternoon I wanted to walk you through the sales and figures of the first book I've ever written called Get Into Game Dev. I'm very excited to share it with you, hopefully to inspire some more people to create some content themselves or provide some useful information or I guess just entertainment for people who are maybe thinking of being their own author or something like that. So let me see if I could share my screen here. And that is the wrong screen. So we're going to have to do this again, aren't we? You know, you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So we're going to go to ArtStation. And you can see here that these are all of the products I sold, totaling about $914, so almost $1,000. Uh, this money is all going to be donated to charity. And here's the product itself. It's called Get Into Game Dev, Cheat Codes for Game Dev Interviews. So, I mean, this book took maybe like uh, like two or three years to write. And I was very grateful because I already had quite an audience from my YouTube channel. I guess, I mean, I don't have quite an audience. I have like 2,000 subs or something like that. Um, but a lot of those subscribers, I'm sure, were people who purchased the book because, well, really, there's no other way to find out about this book. I tried to search it on ArtStation. I put, I put in the search bar, like, starter guide game dev and i only found one thing that came up so i also tried just game dev and i didn't get anything related to my book so i don't know how good the search feature is maybe other people know how to optimize it but i wasn't able to find my book anywhere here so maybe my book is being promoted to people but i kind of doubt it i think people who are buying my book are just from my youtube channel and i guess that's why i should talk about why artstation so honestly there was nothing that appealed to me about artstation other than the fact that I read, I will get 95% of proceeds. So I just didn't, I mean, I'm trying to raise as much money as I can for charity. So I wasn't trying to like really do anything other than just make as much money as possible. And the fact that I was able to keep 95% of the proceeds was very alluring to me because they only take a 5% cut which is, I think, even then probably too much for what's essentially just facilitating uh, the purchase. You know, if there was some discoverability here, which I don't think there is, then maybe the product would be worth more. But as it stands right now, I don't really think ArtStation is doing that much for me. Um, with that being said, it's a nice little interface here where I could sell my book. So yeah, I mean, there's other options too. So Amazon, you can sell your book, but their ratio is actually insane. Instead of keeping 95% of the proceeds, I think for Amazon, you keep 30%. So you actually, you keep the lesser portion uh, and they keep 70%. Though there is a deal you can go into, which is called an exclusivity contract, where if you only sell it on Amazon, then they're going to be so gracious and they're only going to, they're going to give you 70% and then they only keep 30%. So, I mean, both of those deals are you know, fucking ridiculous. So I think that going with ArtStation so that I would only get like 5%, to them is probably the best deal I was able to find. And that is actually how much uh, Stripe and PayPal take if I were to sell it directly on my website, which I think I might eventually do anyway. But um, just so you know, that's kind of like the trade-off there. So yeah, I think 5% is kind of fair in terms of what they provide. And if there was discoverability, maybe it'd be better than that. I guess for Amazon, you know, they're a great retailer, so there's a chance that I can get more from them, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so anyways, that is kind of how I've done. So here's my funnel. So I'm sure if you're interested, you, you'll probably be interested in the tech funnel. Can I scroll? I can't scroll. Oh, here it is. Nice and big. Okay. So basically I got 201 product views and then 9% of, of those converted to somebody who put it in their cart. So basically 18 people put it in their cart. And then of those 18 people, about 83% of them actually made the purchase. So that's what that ratio looks like. And I guess in total, I've made 15 sales, which isn't a lot, but that's the really nice thing about selling a product that is kind of premium. Uh, I'm selling it right now at a $55 price point with a special exception for any students, and that's $35. So originally I wanted to like verify that there were a student by asking them to give their email, and then I could check if it ends in a .edu which I think is a fairly reliable way to test that, though of course some people will hold on to like an alumni address or something. 
but I think that's a pretty good way to do it. However, um, they really don't have access. They don't give me any support for something like that. So I'm just doing the honor system right now. And thankfully, a lot of people I think have been honest. And also a lot of people have given me tips in addition to the purchase of the book, which has been really nice. So like, for example, this guy bought it for 59 bucks. So I guess he gave a tip as well. So thank you to that guy and everybody else who's given a tip. That's been very kind. And together, uh, I mean, we've almost raised about $1,000 for charity, which is awesome. My current goal right now is to raise $5,500 for charity. So we would be about one-fifth of the way there. And the reason why I've chosen $5,500 is because that is actually calculated as the price that you need to save a human life, which is kind of crazy to think. I mean, I'm sure we would all imagine that a human life is kind of priceless, right? But even if we were to put a number to it, like I would never think someone is only worth $5,000. But the reality is that that is actually all the money we need in order to save somebody. It's just $5,000 about. So I'm hoping to raise that much because if I'll have donated that to you know the Against Malaria Foundation, that will have represented uh, saving someone's life. And I've, I've, I've donated far more than that uh, over my lifetime, but that'll be just from this project. So that's kind of my goal for this project. And I'm going to continue to add to the book and promote it until we get there. So I, I, I think we could do that. Maybe not in this year, uh, but you know, I'm going to have this book available forever. So eventually one day, I think it'll make that much. So anyways, uh, that's it. That's my book. And I really hope that this was helpful for you. If you're interested in checking it out, it's called Get Into Game Dev. And if you're somebody who knows a bit about ArtStation with respect to how I can get my book to more people, uh, maybe I should go with a traditional publisher if that means, you know, trying to reach more, more people, get a broader audience. Please let me know because I would love to take these lessons and, and share them with more people. I'm always excited to meet more students and, and hopefully uh, get more folks involved. So I guess I didn't mention uh, too many details here, but I'll just say briefly that, yeah, so I made this book over a period of you know, like two or three years, I originally did it in a Word doc and I benefited greatly from a lot of people um, reviewing it and giving me tips and advice. So I already kind of had an audience and I already knew that this product was going to deliver a lot of value to them by the time that I was going to sell it. Because I, I mean, I, I, it had helped me get a job. So I knew it could help other people get a job. And in fact, I had used it to place a lot of my students uh, when I was teaching at Stanford and um, through my YouTube channel. And then in terms of the cover art, which is, I guess, the only other thing, I made this image using AI at first, and then I brought it to a Fiverr artist who did kind of like a professional uh, book cover and like these mock-ups on like the iPad and stuff. And then I brought it to another Fiverr artist and we fixed up the art because the art was not good and the generated AI. So he did a full paint over and, and kind of redid it from scratch basically in order to make it look uh, human. Cause you know, sometimes you do AI art and like they have like a 15 fingers or something. So the final product is not AI generated. It, it is made from scratch, but that was kind of how I got my start in just kind of visualization, excuse me, visualizing the product. And I actually do recommend that workflow. I'd say if you're going to work with like a pro artist, it's really useful to kind of use AI art or even just a simple sketch on paper to kind of give them as much information as they can to understand your vision because the opposite of a vision is a revision and you don't want to have a lot of revisions on your project because a lot of artists, I use Fiverr, but a lot of artists will have a limited number of revisions that you could do and a revision is also a waste of time. So, uh, you know, basically if you have to go through a lot of revisions, you're wasting time. So the more information you can give them from the start, the better. So I was grateful to have had that workflow and it, it worked for me. So if you're a person who's considering kind of writing your own book and doing the cover art, then I, I think that was a pretty good process for me. And that is it. So thank you so much. Oh, so I already got one review on this website by a guy named Avik. So thank you, Avik, if you're watching this, I really appreciate your support. And then these were some reviews from some other people. Oh, here's Avik again. So Avik, Avik has been watching this guide for a while. So um, I'm really grateful for that. And I've worked a lot with Zachariah as well. So it's it's really great to um, have some fans because they see I'm investing in the community. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make the product better and and they'll come back and, and, and they'll buy it when it eventually comes out. So that's really great. Um, and I'm hoping to make even more content. So if you've already purchased the book, get excited because I'm going to be adding more chapters over the coming years. And um, 
If you haven't purchased the book, then it's only going to get better. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful for you and have a great day.